If it's a life-saving drug, and for some it takes two injections to do the job. So why is Kaiser only giving patients one EpiPen per package? Good evening, I'm Alan Martin. And I'm Juliette Goodrich. KPIX 5's Julie Watts joins us from the newsroom now with parents demanding answers. Julie. That's right, Juliette. We're getting complaints from Kaiser patients who tell us Kaiser is refusing to give them their full two-dose prescription for the version of the EpiPen that Kaiser covers. And parents say they are terrified that their kids will pay the price. Every six minutes, life-threatening food allergies send someone to the hospital. It's kind of scary because that can potentially happen to me. Marcus is among the estimated 1 in 13 children with food allergies, two in every class. Many just one bite away from a potentially deadly allergic reaction. Marcus carries two of these life-saving epinephrine pens at all times because he knows just one might not be enough. The devices run the risk of user error, product failure, and studies show up to 36% of patients require a second dose, which is why the manufacturer only sells them in a two-pen pack. But unfortunately for Marcus, his insurer, Kaiser, will no longer fill his full prescription, and he's not alone. They said that they were having a shortage and that I was only allowed to have one EpiPen. Danielle Molkenberg was shocked when her Kaiser Pharmacy refused to refill her son's prescription for the standard two-pen epinephrine auto-injector set. I had to walk away because I was about to cry. Kaiser says it's rationing due to an epinephrine shortage. This form letter tells patients they'll now get no more than one syringe at a time. But when Danielle shared her story on a Facebook food allergy group, she was shocked to find that it seemed only Kaiser patients were affected. Several of them contacted us with complaints. The epinephrine auto-injector. The maker of the generic auto-injector that Kaiser sells tells us it only sells a product in a two-pen pack, and that's what it ships to Kaiser. It appears Kaiser is then opening the package and doling out one pen at a time. Problematic since schools require two pens in a box with the child's name on the prescription label. They uh, gave me one single EpiPen with no box, with no name, no prescription number, or anything. Now, there is some question as to whether schools can even administer the prescription without the child's name on the box. Kaiser just got back to us with a response telling us, quote, while the FDA approved this product to be on the market as a two-pen set, physicians have the discretion to prescribe the drug as clinically appropriate. Our physician groups have endorsed the splitting of these packages to preserve supplies during the shortage. Once supplies return to normal, the one syringe limit will be removed. Now, we have contacted the FDA and the State Pharmacy Board, which are both looking into the issue. We're told that it may be technically legal to split the prescription, but in most cases, prescriptions must be properly labeled with the patient's name. We'll keep you posted.